Right. Here we are. Ah, oh, oh, another day in the life of fighting just to get people to have common sense. Um, right, where do I start? Um, I've just read my email from the, uh, a response from the General Medical Council and um, just the first few words. It's just like the local government and social care ombudsman. <laughs> it's rubbish. <laughs> Add to all the the hundreds of bad reviews on Trustopilot. Where do they find these people? What planet are they on? You're, I, I, I send them. I'm working so hard and I'm on severe disability. And my my really long emails, and they're saying just a few words. We can see that your GP has got you a care coordinator, which means you're receiving support. Uh, hello. <laughs> the care coordinator and the GP. The care coordinator was sacked. I gave dates and times. It's very simple. They gave me a self-contained flat. And it was taken from me four months later with physical assault from public servants. Da 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 my valuables. I was left to wander the streets in my pajamas and dressing gown. The Lansdowne Hotel manager became involved because they always get complaints about this supported accommodation. <laughs> Ooh, clown world. Right, so yeah, uh, it's not even worth reading the rest of it because they're all on another planet. But don't worry, I will add to the 99% or 100% of bad reviews on Trust a Pilot, just as I did with the local government and social care ombudsman. Just read, just go and have a look. It's a humdinger. Everyone's saying the same thing. It's all part of the corruption. Do the same with the General Medical Council that I, and the same with Sussex Partnership. Because we all know who it's run by. You elite psychopath Luciferian Freemasons at the top who want world domination. I think it's really funny that my mother actually did a scene in Wimbledon with someone who actually played the Antichrist. I'm seeing, and I'm actually seeing the Antichrist. I've met victims of satanic ritual abuse. I met John Alexander Patterson. Anyway, uh, sorry, I just had to get that off my chest because I've only just met, read the email and it's triggered a response. And that was the response. Darren, if you're watching this, don't let them get to you, okay? I'm not being a hypocrite here because uh, I have every reason to feel the way that I do. Everything is justified with my emotions and how hurt I am. Uh, that's justified. Um, but I'm still praying for us in the same way I do with, with my eldest sister. Um, who's a tyrant, people are afraid of her, men and women are afraid of her, we're long estranged, she's hurting, people are hurting, but there's never an excuse for, yeah, I mean, you're like a, you've been like a, you know, a brother and a and mother as well as a partner, but um, no, I'm just saying don't let them get to you, Darren. Don't let them get to you because I've got some things to say and, and um, I've just made some notes because I want to get this off my chest. Um, I was on the phone to someone from the council. The, the paralegals got me to speak to someone else and I was speaking for about 40 minutes to him on the phone and I was going into great detail and I told him about this anonymous person who's dealing with me. 
um, and I told him about how I went to the conference and in December and that I met Ray, who's a mutual friend of my late mother's. And um, he was a speaker, ex-Sussex police. Yeah, I told him. And um, But um, crumbs, my ice is... Uh, excuse me. And, um, gosh, it was like an oven in here. These windows were glued shut. And the man who works here... Just have a look at that lovely view out there. Isn't that? being sarcastic He's calling me darling 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 and Bryony I'm not going to say where I am or the name of the person that works here but I made it clear that if they're going to call me darling and Bryony rather than madam oh I loved it in New York when the bellboys called me ma'am you know and there are very few hotels that actually have people calling you madam at the Lansdowne, they call me Madam, and it was the Lansdowne deputy manager who intervened the day that I was locked out of my home, and he said we get complaints like this all the time. Uh, and he, I was telling the guy who opened my windows, I said, you know, he left me to wander the streets in my pyjamas. I went down to my doctor's practice. My GP didn't care. I didn't care less. <laughs> and it was the lands, and they're the ones who got me into that flat. And the Lansdowne deputy manager said, we get complaints like this all the time. And he escalated complaints to the head of police and the managing director of SDR, who was the very person who locked me out of my flat and left me to wander the streets. Yes, clown world, indeed, indeed. So, I'm just saying, Darren, don't let them get to you because wait till you hear what I've got to say. The way I feel is the way I feel and I will validate my own feelings. This is a test from the enemy. Um, so, because, yeah, I am going to go to the English Constitutional Party because I need some real tough men, you know. You know, what they were saying about riots breaking out and the Liberals hiding under their carrying in the corner. I want to be with them. The real ones. The real tough ones. The ones who are willing to die to protect their own in this country. They're all dead now. Yeah, your great-grandparents, your grandparents died for your freedoms. I don't know if that's rain or a leak. I've had enough of leaks. I have lost enough of leaks to last me a lifetime. Um, yeah, so basically, um, so because I still don't even know the details of my father's death 18 months ago. I'm dealing with all of this on my own. I was telling this guy from the council that attempted rape was a walk in the park. I laughed it off. I've been traumatised by what these nappy-wearing police and public servants have done to me. Some of them are grandparents. My God! Your families would be absolutely ashamed of you. I'm so looking forward to death. I'm so looking forward to being reunited with my mother. She said she'd be waiting for me and I do believe it. I do believe it. I can't wait. Anyway, I've seen things going on in this Masonic town, you wouldn't believe. But they're really pushing it now. And I've just seen a Paul Joseph Watson video. We are heading towards. They're still trying to push the New World Order. I've got something to say. But anyway, um, so... Um, yeah, uh, but it's... This guy is going to ring me tomorrow, so I'm going to find out where I'm going because I can't afford 
hotels anymore. I'll be here tomorrow night and that's it. But don't you dare, don't you dare use my partner as a scapegoat. You stole the flat from me. You stole my home and my possessions. And it was my partner... It was my partner who found out where the hell you'd taken my possessions. Yeah! <laughs> you think you're so clever, don't you? You really do. You went and got... You didn't want me to go in and get my own things. And you got Juliet Rawson. And Warrior Wales. Yeah, there's something really not right about this. Because Juliet said to me that a random stranger had contacted her, Dan, Daniel Brown, Dan from Police Abusing Powers YouTube, who's got a, a troll account, and you're aware that he's got all these troll accounts. I had no idea that these nutcases, I had no idea that they had so many troll accounts. I've just got one YouTube channel and I never wanted a YouTube channel. I set it up to document the corruption I've been going through for my legal evidence. How the hell did he even find Juliet? That's what I don't understand because she said a random stranger contacted her. She reported his YouTube ch uh, video of me and she said it had been taken down. It hasn't been taken down. You know what? Someone threatened my partner on Facebook because I was so upset and he thought it was Juliet because it was a northerner or someone who claimed to be from up north. I'll slit your throat if you hurt Bryony. It but so anyway, yeah, my 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 emotions, my feelings about my partner, I valid I'm validating them. They're real. I have every reason to be upset. Um, but I'm still saying my partner is the one who's got me through this. So I'm going to make a comparison here and I'm going to make it really simple for you, for simple minds, because most people have them, they're brainwashed. It's very simple. Jeanette Archer, the victim of satanic ritual abuse, I would love to meet her. Now, just let's just say for argument's sake, she was a liar and she wasn't telling the truth. Let's just say just for argument's sake. Just for argument's sake. Because I'm going to make a comparison. Do the same with my partner. She's still telling the truth. Do you see where I'm going with this? Everything she said about the Tavistock Institute. Call a spade a spade. I only had to say that she was a brave woman. And some nutcase who's known to Thames Valley Police rang me out the blue. Uh, Helen James or whatever it was, her name was. Uh, contacting me and saying she's a terrorist and all of this. And because I disagreed with her, she called, said I'm a terrorist. A racist and started name calling. And I met Jeanette Archer's security guard at the conference. And he agreed with me on a lot of things. And he said... That person's damaged. There's no excuse for it, though. No excuse for their crimes against me, but Thames Valley Police covered it up, swept it under the carpet. So, like Jeanette Archer, my partner, let's just say for argument's sake, he was lying, and a sociopath or whatever. It's still be te telling the truth. He's still the one who's protected me. He's still the one, and you are using him as a scapegoat. Eastbourne Borough Council and all these other nutcases out there because you are psychopaths and narcissists. And don't you dare use his OCD. There's, do you know something? There's only one troll who's commented, and it's it's hilarious because... That troll has shown them up to be a really dirty, filthy. Um, uh, you're the only one. My message to that troll. You're the only one who's commenting. Do you realise you're the only one who's trolling me? I'm not even getting any anonymous calls. Do you realise? 
And you've just proved yourself from your last comment to be just a, a really a pervert. You're a filthy, dirty pervert who is obsessed with me. And you've got to keep going back to that same YouTube video because I, I, I disabled my comments last year so that no one could comment anymore. But you're still going back onto that same video. Um, hang on a minute. Let me see if I can. Um, I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to lose my because I I'm not I'm not, I'm unable to live stream. So, um, but it was under one of my videos that shows evidence of trolls in the police abusing powers dan's police abusing powers community and it's that same troll that i was talking about in my last video and he's changed they've changed the name very slightly with a different number <laughs> you're a card this is the same troll this troll has left a message under that video saying oh darren Darren, what as if you know Darren? Uh, oh, he looks through. This is my talking about my partner, as if you know my partner. Oh, he looks through. What's he trying to look through your um, sanitary waste to have a look through it? And and this this no, that, that sounds like that sounds like an admission from you. You're a pervert. You're an absolute pervert. And you're you're very lonely. You've got to you've got to face the final judgment on your own. My partner, no, my partner's got OCD. I, that's not what I said. This is what makes me laugh. All these trolls, they don't do this. They don't listen. They take notes. They're making notes. You're so obsessed. I'm getting on with my everyday life. You're not. You don't have a life. What happened to you? Did someone rape you? Were you abused by your parents? Were you sexually abused by your parents or a family member? What is it that's making you do this? Because even if you work for Eastbourne Borough Council, even if you get, even if you work for GCHQ, even if you work for, I don't know, MI5, even if you're a millionaire, I don't care who the hell you are. Crumbs, why do you think I didn't do child modelling? Why do you think I didn't go into Hollywood and all that rubbish? I don't want all, for all the money in the world, all the tea in China. No thanks. I don't. I don't want any of what you lot have got. I don't want it. I am in such a safe, happy place, and you're jealous because you can't do what I'm doing. I said. <laughs> God, you're like PC McCarthy, you are. By the way, thank you, Warrior Wales, for being concerned about me and what they did to me on beat, what that thug did to me and all the bruises and everything. I bet they, I bet that PC Lines couldn't get her breasts out. No, she's frustrated because she's got to keep her PTSD inside here. She's going to end up, they're going to end up killing someone. And I don't want to be in their shoes when it all kicks off. Mm, with what the what they what the English Constitutional Party were talking about, but even more so, I don't want to be in their shoes on Judgment Day. So I agree with I agree with my partner. I told female WPCs that my partner wouldn't let me put my sanitary waste in the bin. What that means is I'd already tied it up and put it in a bag. You know, one of those little plastic bags and I went to put it in his bin and he took it out of my hand because he wanted to put it in the bin himself. But in your sick mind, you want to believe He's 
doing something. You've got a really sick mind. You really have. This is the same troll, the same loner, the same damaged individual who said something about words to the effect that uh, you're not being trafficked. We call it moving people around when under common law it is trafficking. If, if anyone, whether they're a public servant or not, if they've physically grabbed you and they forced you against your will out of your home into another accommodation, it's called human trafficking, sweetheart. And it's the same troll with a different troll account with, a, with the same picture but a slightly different name that also said, that's made this filthy comment about um, going through my sanitary waste and looking through it. It's that same troll who also said, uh, you, um, <laughs> you, Juliet, um, don't shout in Juliet's flat. Don't scream and shout in Juliet's flat. And then Juliet's mother came in with these people and paramedics and police. You understand now, Juliet, why I can't trust you, whether, you know, you've got your mother. You've all got to take responsibility, every single one of you. That includes Darren, my partner, Juliet Rawson, her own mother, Darren's parents, because Darren's been banned from the here. But his dad, his dad took my things out of this hotel. The council know I'm here. You see where I'm going with this? Oh, it's a great... Do you know what? I'm so looking forward to having the last laugh. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Thank you for bringing me to his name, Darren. So, you see where I'm going with this. So, here were the notes that I made. Oh, to survive just one of these things on your own... It's he's getting me through this. Anyway, um, but in East Eastbourne has got a stronghold for Freemasonry. In fact, Simon Muller, I can't say what he said about John Wedger. I rang John Wedger and I was upset that he wasn't interested in speaking to me. He said you know, it said that Jesus loves me, but then this, this was this. I rang John Wedger in Juliet's flat. John Wedger from MI5. Ray, the speaker at the conference, who, who's got a mutual friend who's you know who's my mother's my late mother's friend he dated. Ray knows John Wedger, but I was upset because John Wedger was like, "Well, you know, darling, what, what, what can you do? You know, the police." Just don't get the police involved. I have nothing to do with them. They forced me out of my home. He doesn't know this. So I'm very upset and disappointed with John Wedger. I, I, he looks like a genuine person and, and he does this outdoor swimming, which I was already a member of the outdoor water, water swimming society, which I, I'd still want to get involved in all of that. But, you know, it's just, and then, and then Simon Muller, who's gone up, I can't repeat what he said about, I cannot repeat what he said about John Wedger. It's not safe for me to repeat the words that he used. But if it's true, then it would put my life in danger. And this is someone who offered me a job and was putting Blackpool Police Station on notice because because he said that the coronation of Charles is treason under common law and I it's all too much for me but I've had at least he knows what Caroline Stevens is like you've got to be careful of people in the truthers movement but anyway so yeah but that troll account um, uh, 
yeah, no, I, I said everything I wanted to say. It's just not worth it. So I've moved on from that. Um, but I wanted to say, um, yeah, so don't, don't you dare use my partner as a, um, he found out where my possessions are. My gold ring, everything was taken from me. I was left to wander the streets in my pyjamas. This is deep state, S-H-I-T. Um, so, um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, no. Um, so basically, um, in the town, there's a, I was walking through the town the other day and they've, they've really got no shame. They've set up this great big wooden thing. It looks like it's come from Drew Sillers and it's got a wooden outline of a family, this great big thing. With, and it's to, it's to pull at people's heartstrings with a, the image of a child with a teddy. And guess what colour it is? Yes, yellow and blue. And, you know, yellow and blue is part of the programming. Those colours there have been a lot of yellow and blue things before all this stuff broke out. But, but, but there's this thing underneath the board that says, we stand with Ukraine. We want to live. And I felt like shouting out, so do I. So do I bloody well want to live. <laughs> this is not living. But, oh, I'm still, you know, my late mother saw me as a Jane Austen lady. Jane Austen did not live in the 21st century. She didn't have public servants call Mr. Darcy a C word to her face. She didn't go up beach. She had suicidal only for that same public servant who calls her partner, Mr. Darcy, a C word to her face, brutalizes her beatings as part of welfare checks it doesn't work so i'm not saying my mother programmed me but the the person who did that article for me um brave briny battles on that newspaper article god i even showed lisa the manageress at sdr living what a fake you are. What a horrible, horrible woman you are. All of you. Something not right with any of you. I showed you that article that Robert, my ex-careers advisor, did that for me. And I told him back in the day over 20 years ago, I said, I've been conditioned. But that's before I knew what mind control was programmed it's not my mother's fault that she brought me up well to be like a Jane Austen lady I showed you I told you everything and you still went ahead and you did all of that to me and that demented night porter who couldn't care less that Juliet's got cancer and that my father died where have you been in all of this Juliet because you were the one who saw that and you were disgusted with how they treated me they only allowed you in there, but you didn't go and get my gold ring for me. I'd already told you what they were doing to me when I emailed them formal complaints. Juliet Rawson, how did Dan from Police Abusing Powers find you? That, that, YouTube chat, that YouTube video is still up there, by the way. I've asked Warrior Wales to report it again because it should have been taken down. But anyway, so, well, you showed me your true colours with your mother. I mean, Warrior Wales said if she can do it once, she can do it again. I'm still, by the way, this charger lead is yours. That room that you helped have me trafficked to has been taken from me. And don't you quit, you're using Darren to abuse me. You yourself, Juliet. Darren said you're my friend and your mother said you're not. You work for the authorities. Or you all need to just grow up and grow a pair. 
Juliet, you work as a support worker for South Down Housing Association. It's the same as my middle sister who's living as a bloody man. The same people who exploited me when my mother was dying of cancer and my mother's friends said, is anyone helping you with her cancer? No, they're not. I then get news that my father's been dead for, for 18 months and that home has been taken from me. If there's anyone from the English Constitutional Party watching this, please get in contact with me. Even if it means having to go to that rumble video, would you please? I don't, I've only just managed to open a Rumble account. I'm not a techie person. I don't have a smartphone. I don't understand this stuff. I've only just watched a Paul Joseph Watson video where they're showing in um, Lidl, in London, the New World Order has already started in... You're going to starve to death if you don't have it. I'm going to starve to death. It's just as well I went to go and get some food on the seafront or I'll be starving to death. Because you can't shop in Lidl now without a smartphone and a QR bloody code. I've been saying for over a, well over a decade, nearly two decades, I've been saying, how do old people cope? If my grandmother was alive, she'd be 118. She lived through two world wars. It was a miracle that my mother was a, my mother could send text messages. That was a miracle. My mother would be 85. I belong in the Victorian era. Even in the Victorian era, that, that, that there's stuff I wouldn't be able to do. I don't understand technology. I'd be F-U-C-K-E-D. They're going to do microchipping in the head. The mark of the beast. This is what the Freemasons have wanted this for decades. I worked with a Freemason. I know what's going on. I know, I've always known. Even before I knew. The social worker landlord said I knew too much. I've had someone from adult social care leave a voice message for me. These numpties, I've been ringing them endlessly and they do nothing. They're all demented. The property managers, the property managers at Belmore Road. The nutcase from the a and contractor who gave me a key to Belmore Road called me an effing spastic, which is meant to be a hate crime. I don't care what it is. It's bloody demented. They're all nutcases. But I didn't realise that, that Dan and his police abusing powers well, Warrior Wales had his suspicions. And thank you, Warrior Wales, for that. Utter, utter psychopaths. If you are against the police, as I said at the conference, go to Crime Bodge's channel. Go to Crime Bodge, okay? I don't, I've had no con personal contact with this guy. But even then, I'm very wary, very wary. The last port of call for me. I'm not interested in the truth. There's, well, I am. But I'm wary of people, period. That's why I'm a loner, because I've got that heightened awareness and knowledge. And why my mother travelled the world. I've got, I've inherited something from her. I've got that strong constitution, as my partner said. But anyway, both me and my partner have got OCD traits. You, you don't... <laughs> Do you know what? As you said, warrior whales, leave them guessing. Just leave them guessing because they're very damaged. But that one lonely troll, you're on your own, mate. And even if millions of you started trolling me all at once, you're all lonely, but not the kind of lonely that I am. There's being lonely and then there's being alone two different things. I'm not lonely. I'm just waiting. As our saviour said, you know, there's a time, there's a time to make some noise and there's a time to just lay quiet, lay low and don't say anything. There's a time to shout it out from the rooftops and then there's a time to just zip it. Just be wise, you know. 
when you're distressed, that's different. That's PTSD. You know, when I said I bared my top half in distress, if you knew some of the weird things that I do, why do you think I, I keep away from people? Because I don't, people wouldn't understand. They don't understand OCD. They don't understand the stress linked to it and what it's all, you know. But anyway, uh, enough about all of that stuff. So, yeah, and also, uh, so the, the blue and yellow, the Ukrainian thing was in the town. The paedophile, the LGBT flags, oh my gosh. Alison Hockin on Facebook, thank you for what you've shared. The, the, I mean, I'm not saying that this lady knows about my YouTube channel, but if it gets out there, let it be known. Thank you for that because, oh my gosh, they're pushing. I only went into Tesco's and on the tannoy, someone was saying, oh, t oh, Tesco's have been so understanding. I work for Tesco's and I'm, I'm, I'm gay. And so I came out and someone else and someone else, and it's all there, they're pushing it, it's right in your faces. The images of children, they're putting it in the shops, children, it, my mother wouldn't believe it. My mother, it, it's, it's, but I'm also happy as well, because I know that Abi Yahweh is, is holding on, he's strengthening me, he's done it from day one of my life. And, Those little ones, though, the children with the pictures of the Baphomet and the Baphomet images, and, and there are actual Baphomet mannequins in the shops. I don't know if this is in America or in the UK, but witchcraft circles, they've got children wearing Baphomet and the pentagrams and, and in these, and with the Baphomet satanic, they're pushing it. But that LGBT flag, the one that's got the funny shapes in it. This black guy in America, this African American guy, was saying what those colours stand for. That the pink means that people, if they're attracted to, I can't even say it, underage females. The blue means if you're attracted to underage. They're putting whip. People are under a spell. Society, they're putting a spell, a witchcraft brainwashing spell. It's been socially engineered. There are people that work at Sussex Partnership. The lady I complained about here, the receptionist who was concerned about me last year, before I went into that self-contained flat that the GP got me that's now been taken from me, that receptionist was saying to me because she's all turned all funny that we're not just ho hotel staff we're also mental health nurses and all that rubbish she's covered in tattoos i shouldn't be saying that but she i'm not trying to make a point but i've got a thing about all these tattoos um it's witchcraft. And I know about the Greek word pharma, 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 pharmakos, pharmakos, thanks to Dr. William Snowblum, the ex high, highest level Freemasons, Wicca priest, Satanist. He, Dr. William Snowblum, or Schnubli as me and Darren call him, uh, and he uses Yahweh's name and Yeshua's name. Um, yeah. Pharmakos, Greek for um, uh, poisons. Yeah, the poisons. You know what I mean? So, yeah, the um, LGBT flags, they are, th there's now a P on the end, apparently. LGBTQ. There's a P. What's the P for? What's the P for? LGBT. There's a P for. We know what the P is for. Because these these 
what 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 politician was it that tried to legalize it? It's paedophile. Mm. So yeah, literally it is Baphomet, it is satanic, do as thou will, and I Hallelujah, Yahweh. The Darren. Darren has got me through this. This is why we're being targeted, folks. This is why they're using Darren as a scapegoat. That's why my local MP gave Darren a caring role. Darren took me. He's got the original Hebrew Aramaic scriptures. It was Darren, my partner, who told me they took Yahweh's name out of there 7,000 times. And I made a poster and I put Yahweh's name in Hebrew and I stuck it on the wall of the psychiatric unit and they took it down. But they kept other people's artwork up there. They they were, they put these stupid rainbow flag things on their faces. I met John Patterson in there. I met John Patterson in the psychiatric unit. I met the victim of satanic ritual abuse, a South African lady, a Freemason from Lewis and Shutter in there. John Patterson. I'm surprised John went, went just, he said to me, who's John Patterson? How can you not know? He went to Scotland Yard where, where John Wedger works, MI5. He went to them with satanic documents to do with baby organ harvesting and they, Sussex police were out of their jurisdiction and they put him in a van, blue lights flashing down to the psychiatric unit. Yeah, exactly. That brave man, what have they done to him? What have the Freemasons of Chichester done with John Alexander Patterson? I said I'd be proud if he was my father. My father's now dead. And I don't know how he died 18 months ago, but Sussex police contacted him when I was reported missing. And my partner, my, my father, whom I hadn't seen for 30 years, is saying, Sussex police have contacted me, is this attention seeking? Now my father was screwed up himself because his father beat him. I know about generational curses. Because I'm learning as I go along. You can choose. If you, you can either choose to do what these trolls do. You can become one of them. And you will lose your soul. And you will not have a, your part in the book of life. Or you can fight the good fight and do what the empaths are doing. You've still got a chance to turn your back on the enemy it's very hard for me to to do the big thing to be the bigger person to do what my heavenly but my i know i have to do it because it's darren my partner who brought me to yahweh it's darren my partner who brought me to yahweh and you don't think that there's a just, just even the slightest minute possibility that we're being targeted Specifically, because we're just decent people. A spade, a spade. So, um, yeah, and according to the English Constitution Party, a riot. Like an old school riot. It's, it's, you, when this, when, when, when people, really wake up in this country and this is what the government is scared of Darren doesn't like it when I do that I'm not doing hand gestures I just, I just do that to make a point um it involves people getting hurt people getting killed um my, my sister I, I my middle sister the one that's living as a man the one who actually worked for St Mary's house as a support worker Back in, a, in around 1982, which is the year I was born, she said that, um, I don't know if it was my father, but she was driven through a riot. And it must have been in London or Buckinghamshire, which is where we were from. So it doesn't sound like a pretty sight, though. She said she saw a brick, a brick hurtling towards. And my, my sister was a child at the time. So I don't know what the hell they were driving through, but 
And yes, I do agree with uh, the guy, uh, Paul Merritt. Uh, the police are not the same as what they were in the 70s, 80s and 90s. No one would have tolerated this military. Well, I, I mean, I had a middle class up upbringing. It's only since I've been with my partner, Darren, that this has all happened. And why they're scapegoating him. The local MP gave him a caring role. And then they kept arresting both of us. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Darren, before we were even in a relationship, he had a good reputation. He helped out on the chaplaincy team. He's helped out with the chaplaincy team. The Beachy Head Chaplains. The, the same charity. He was in the, the Arndale Centre, the shopping centre, now called The Beacon. Before we became friends and became, went into a relationship. So he... You know, we've both been living down here since the 80s and 90s. And, you know, I know what people in this town are like. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're pushing all this, this stuff. But it's very worrying about not being able to shop and all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, no, in 1991, we had a lovely WPC as a lodger my mother and I, and she was a lovely lady, uh, quiet. And we actually said how safe we felt having a WPC living with us. And that's over 30 years ago. We felt safe. And I've got a feeling she was the one who perhaps a year later then gave me the um, Lindsay DePaul taking control video because and ironically, that's exactly what I used when I had attempted rape. And I laughed it off. Our Eastbourne police were very helpful back then. I, I single-handedly put this individual 10 years on a sex offenders register and two years in prison. And I've laughed it off. But what the police have done to me and these public servants that work at the council and the hospital, I've never known anything like it. It's worse than anything. No one's laid a finger on me. No one. Not even even that, that piece of shite that I was with before my partner, who really was physical and nasty after my mother died. Not even he did that to me. So thank you, Warrior Wales. You're the only person who's actually really said that you're concerned about me. No one else has said it. No one. No one. Even the lady at Matthew 25 that I want to see, I've got to really tell her what PC Scott Franklin Lester Senior is like and what he did. Um, but yeah, um, you know, it, just, it just makes me laugh. You know, one the the, ho the hotel that I was in when Councillor Josh Beberundi said he'd help me, because uh, I was in six hotels between just between April and May, and who was helping me? Yes, my partner. He was using his emergency rent money. He came in to all of this. It's all been created, so don't you scapegoat, you're cowards. So, and in that very hotel, there was a woman who, um, I was going back to my room one time, you can see a few videos back, you can see I documented it, this naked woman who was lying in the corner, this, this, is, this is a Best Western Hotel, this is the best Western York hotel. And she was she was stark as completely naked. I just said which hotel it is. I shouldn't be saying which hotel it is. But she was stark as in a corner. And me and the lovely uh, night porter helped her. There's so much I could tell you about. And... 
I documented it and the police asked me if I would give um, if I'd be willing to testify in court well guess what they did exactly the same when that very vile and dangerous nasty piece of work Sherelle Clark I at Belmore Road, I could hear thumping and beating and hearing her scream out, Ah, I'm going to stop you in. Ah. And um, I thought, oh, crumbs, I don't feel safe. That's not what my partner is like. Okay. <laughs> Neither of us are like that. This is where people don't listen. They just make, they're full of, they're just in their own weird bubbles um but this Sherelle Clark I heard and I thought oh crumbs I'm gonna I said I, I thought this is someone that was mentioned in the national news as having beaten the elderly with her mother ja look up Sherelle Clark and Dion Clark mother and daughter jailed for five years for mugging the elderly that was in September last year after I had self-funded the Cavendish for nine months for my safety and I fled the property and there she was there was her ugly mug and when I say ugly I don't I mean ugly in here inside and they had a previous conviction for doing the same thing on the Isle of Wight and they were released from prison only to do what they were doing the same thing again at Belmore Road and I recorded her she drunkenly assaulted me in front of CCTV that I fought to get installed I recorded the neighbours helping me she even harassed my partner Do you just read the online article because the BBC covered it I couldn't believe it her face was on the screen I thought <laughs> I thought Abby Yahua Abby Yahua you really have got my back. I thought, well, you foolish, foolish, vile creature, you and your mother. Apparently they were on crack cocaine and the article says that she'd beaten up this man who took pity on her. And guess what? He's now crippled by anxiety and he's too afraid to go out. Yes, and I helped the police, and the police were arresting me. I helped a plainclothes police officer who threw, who had someone on his back. And this was when I was being attacked in my council accommodation. This is what the conversation I've just had with this man from the council and why I've been telling them that I've been wanting to take this council, this notoriously corrupt council, to the high court over the past seven years, I've been put through non-stop torture. I, honest to God, I've never known anything like it in my life. It all started with us crying out for help. Because something's got to give. Everybody needs help. You can't live in your hoarding and clutter. You can't have attempted rape, domestic abuse, losing your soulmate, not just your mother, but your soulmate, and having no one to turn to. You don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't take drugs, you've got nothing to get off your head off. You're going to lose it at some point. You're going to have an early midlife crisis. All that trauma that you've absorbed ever since you were a baby that was normalized, because my mother told me at the end of her life. You're, you're going to break down at some point. And that's why people have said to me, one day, Bryony, you'll be helping people. But I'm not just going to help anybody. The police officer who said to me, would you take a statement to help this Sherelle Clark? I thought, why do I want to help her? Oh, I'll just do what's right. If I had known that she was mugging the elderly with her mother, would I have given a statement? Would I have agreed to possibly go to court on her behalf when the BBC have put her? I am so angry. I can't tell you how angry I am for those elderly people. It's not because I did care work with the elderly. That could be your mother, your grandmother. That could be you when you're elderly. And who's going to be there for you when you're all alone?
when you're old and alone and there's no one there for you. I want to think about that, Mr. Troll, Mr. Mrs. Troll. Uh, but yeah, um, so even if my partner, like as I made a distinction between, uh, not a distinction, I made a connection between Jeanette Archer and my partner, and I'll say it again, that even if they were both liars, and I believe them, my partner, I believe my partner, I believe Jeanette Archer, the victim of satanic ritual abuse, they would still be telling the truth, they'd still be doing good things, and what are you lot doing? You're doing the devil's work. So my partner knows he's got to face the final judgment. He knows that, he said it himself. He's the one who says it. He's a very intelligent, He's got more of a brilliant brain than I... And I tell you what, he's more of a man than any of you lot will ever be. Because who was it who came in seven years ago? Who was it who was given a caring role through Care for the Carers, through my local MP? Caroline Ansel MP apparently said to my partner, Darren, that she didn't want to meet me. <laughs> And she's meant to be a Christian. And there's Darren, who's actually strengthened my faith, brought me to the name of Yahweh, who's got the Hebrew Aramaic scriptures. And Councillor Stephen Holt calls himself a man of God. Give me a break, man. Really, Stephen Holt? You wouldn't listen to me or Juliet with her cancer treatment in Tesco's. You wouldn't listen to either of us. She was attacked in the street trying to help me. And she's a visitor to the Riverbourne House. And the Riverbourne House residents were trying to help me. Now, I can't speak for them because I've never actually spoken to the elderly people who were supporting me when Sherelle Clark had just drunkenly assaulted me but she was going around mugging the elderly and you allowed it Sussex police you nappy wearing demented psychopaths did nothing I recorded you doing nothing you're unbelievable how could you how can you sleep at night I can sleep I can't sleep because of the PTSD that you've caused me, pretty much like the 91-year-old woman who's got dementia. You lot put a spit hood on her. Oh, I read, I know about that. You, you're just, you're committing crimes against us, the people. And I'm, I, I swear, that's it. I'm joining the English Constitutional Party only party that cares the only ones who want to uphold the common law of the land uh, yeah well I could go on about all of this so, yeah, Darren's more of a real man than any of you will be but yes of course my feelings uh, my personal feelings I'm not a hypocrite um, my feelings my hurt I is validated I do deserve so much better. I've spoken up for my partner. I know the stress. I've said to people we're both very similar. But yeah, I at the end of the day, though, I'm a woman. Men in the Bible were tough nuts. They were tough nuts. And even John, uh, not John, um, Alan Horvath said that if the family unit falls apart, it's the man's, because the man is the head of the house. It's his fault. Women have to be looked after. Women have a role, men have a role, biblically. So, but um, what can I say? What would, what, what would I have done? What, my partner's father saw his flat and he said, I'm saying what my partner said, because I wasn't there. 
but they're aware that his dad came down here to pick up my bags. And this is the first time his dad has ever seen his flat. It's like a warehouse because of what this council have done to me. So anyway, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my partner. But we are very similar with the OCD. Wow, those comments were so, that was so perverted. That was really disgusting. You must be really, really insecure. And you're the only troll that's commented a few hours back. You're the only one. And even if there were millions of you trolling me like this, you're a very lonely. Oof. Anyway, keep laughing, keep smiling, get your vitamin D. Uh, yeah, so I've covered everything, the New World Order, microchipping, the QR codes. We won't be able to buy. Already you can't buy food unless you've got QR code in London. Uh, that's quite frightening. Um, keep fighting it. No, I've said everything I want to say. That's it. Shalom. Over and out.